David Bonson, chief investment officer at the Bonson Group. David, the Biden administration touts a strong economy, yet some Americans are having to go into debt to get by, and that's at a time when interest rates are high. How did we get here? Well, it's important to point out that you know, Americans are always going into debt to get by, and to some degree. The issue is, are we seeing more of it than normal, and what is causing it? And um, I do believe that the trillion dollar figure being reached on credit card debt sounds really bad. And I wish that there was far, far less absolute credit card debt. But the right way to think about this is the debt divided by assets and the debt divided by income. Right. If I told you someone had a three million dollar mortgage and someone else had a five hundred thousand dollar mortgage, you might think that the first person is worse off unless you knew that their house was worth 20 million and the second person's house was only worth 500,000, right? Mm. The denominator matters. That's what's happening, I think, since the financial crisis, that American households have actually delevered. The problem I have with the Biden administration's economic policies is not household debt, it's government debt. It's running up the governmental debt leverage that hurts growth going forward. We're gonna talk about that in just a second, but what are some of the pitfalls of growing reliance on credit cards? Well, first of all, the cost, it's extremely expensive debt. The interest rates on credit cards, because it's unsecured debt, usually people use their credit card for something that can't be repossessed or reclaimed later. So it's a high cost to run up credit card debt. But I think that another big factor, especially for young people that get into the credit card debt trap, is they become dependent on it. They start to think of the use of their credit cards as part of their monthly income or capacity for spending. Mm. And of course, that is a dead end. And so it becomes very expensive debt and uh, really just is a trap people do not want to go down. And David, as you mentioned, not only Americans have debt, but America itself has debt to the tune of $32 trillion. When you see this number, is there cause for concern? Well, that's the only thing I'm concerned about. I, at the end of the day, it's the economic story of our time that we have not just, again, a high debt level, but debt divided by, when you're talking about the country, we call it GDP. It's the debt relative to the size of the economy. I mean, we had trillions of dollars of debt, and it was really bad 20 plus years ago, but it was about 50% of debt to GDP. Now we're at 120% debt to GDP. So, you know, Japan has been well, well over 200% for a long time. They've had no economic growth for decades. Much of Europe is 170, 180% debt to GDP. That's the problem. It takes away future economic growth. Okay, real quick, 30 seconds, David. How, what's the solution to fiscal uncertainty in America? Well, the solution to fiscal uncertainty caused by excessive indebtedness is to when you're in a ditch, quit digging. Mm -hmm. We absolutely have to get to a place of bipartisan support for a balanced budget. We have to spend within our means, and we have to have pro-growth economic policies to drive the income side, the economic growth that will enable us to deal with the debt. All right. David, thank you so much for being with us today on Faith Nation. Thanks so much.